I planted common milkweed in the first place because I wanted to help out the monarch butterflies. Monarchs use common milkweed as a host plant. They lay their eggs on it, then the caterpillars use the milkweed for food. The adult monarchs also use the milkweed flowers as a source of nectar. I also wanted to witness the life cycle of a monarch butterfly for myself. As gardeners, sometimes we plant something and then later on we regret it, and that's what I'm dealing with here. This is common milkweed, and I wanted to show you how it spreads to keep some people from making the same mistake that I made. I was pulling some of this stuff up, and I was going to try to get rid of it in one spot, and I quickly realized that it's going to take a lot more work than I anticipated. This is one that broke off, and you can see it would have sprouted more right at the base. But you can't just pull this stuff up and call it good. They have roots that can go out in any direction, and in good, loose, sandy loam soil like I have, they can be very aggressive and go 6 to 10 feet, at least. I pull this root up, and if you look at it, all along the root you have little tiny sprouts. And each one of those sprouts will begin forming a new plant, especially if you pull up the original mother plant that it was connected to. This one alone probably has at least a dozen little sprouts, and all of those can produce a new plant. What I'm going to have to do is pull up every plant that comes up and then try to make sure that I remove every root. On this one root, I got my tape measure out and measured it. And I pulled on it finally until it broke, but over where it's still in the ground, we're talking about over five feet, and it's still going. I didn't dig it up because it's right under a big pile of wood chips, and I didn't want to move all of that. So I'll have to deal with that in the spring. I was warned by several people to be careful where you planted common milkweed and sometimes I just have to learn things the hard way. And after five feet, no telling how far this root goes down into the ground, it could go several feet or more. I finally pulled on that root until it broke and my guess is that I'm going to be fighting this battle for a while. If you have any tips on how to get rid of unwanted common milkweed, please feel free to share down in the comments. Other than harsh chemicals, that is. I don't really want to do that. My advice would be, if you're thinking about planting common milkweed, carefully consider where you plant it. If you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We'll see you next time.